Hi everyone. So this is just going to be a kind of rambly um, confidence related video I suppose inspired by a few things that have happened recently and um, no I'm not talking about Samantha Brick um, even though that is quite a big one and um, I might do a blog post about that I think but um, I read online magazines a lot and I am the type of person that will scroll down to the comments section after I've read an article just to see what people are saying about it and I feel like these days, particularly um, regarding women's looks, women's bodies, you tend to get really, really nasty, nasty comments from people. And um, I was reading an article this morning um, about Khloe Kardashian, and somebody commented saying that she looked like a pig. And then someone else commented to that saying she looks like a manly pig. And then loads of people joined in the she looks like a pig debate. And it just kind of struck me as what has happened to people that you feel like you have got nothing better to do than sit there and write comments about a celebrity who, you know, doesn't read your comments, doesn't probably particularly care what you think and um, people are just writing these horrible, horrible comments. Now, I know that not all the comments that are being written are by women, but I do feel like a lot of the time the, the bitchy comments are by women and if you like a certain celebrity or something like that, if you like their Facebook page and then like updates will come up, you see a lot um, of the comments that people put that are just so nasty. Like um, I saw on the Facebook page for, um, what's her name? The woman from Fashion Police, not Joan Rivers, not Kelly, the other one. Um, the Juliana, Juliana Ansink. On her Facebook page, loads of people were commenting saying, oh my God, you're so skinny, eat something, you're so skinny, ew, ew, ew. And it's just that thing where you think, where on earth do we have the right to comment about what somebody else looks like and I know that it's in our DNA to judge people because that is who we are, that is the society that we live in, we judge everybody, everyone judges people, I judge people, we all do, but I don't understand this need to write and judge people in comments. People who you don't no, people who it doesn't make any difference to you what they do or don't do. You know, you can judge your friends, you can judge people that you see in your everyday life, you can even judge strangers that you see walking past you on the street, but you're judging somebody who is on a computer screen, who is not even talking to you, and people write really, really nasty, nasty comments to them. And it kind of boils down to that whole... Um, I'm saying women, obviously it is men too, but in this video I'm just addressing women. It boils down to that thing of women who can't, can't give other women a little bit of slack and can't be happy for someone being happy. And it's like I read an article a while ago um, about somebody, I can't remember who it was, but she was saying that she had really good body confidence. And then all the comments were saying, oh, I don't know why you have such body confidence. You're really not attractive. And it's, it's, it completely, completely confuses me why, why people do that. It is that kind of society of internet bullying, I think, where people are very brave when they're hid behind a computer screen and nobody knows who you are and nobody knows, you know, what your everyday life is. Nobody knows what you look like. And it's very easy to say, to say horrible things about people. But I don't think that saying something horrible about somebody else will make you feel better about you. Um, and I... I, I do know that we judge people, and especially with women, if you're the type of woman who makes an effort in your appearance, you are straight away judged by other women, straight away. Men don't particularly care about it, and they don't tend to particularly notice, because they don't tend to be particularly observant um, of such things. But women is a completely different matter, and I have had a few experiences where... Women judge you straight away, and I had an incident a few years back where I went out with 
I went out with a bunch of people and one of them was a girlfriend of somebody who I knew and she I can't remember where we went we went for dinner and drinks or something and um this woman just had you know trousers and boot, black trousers boots and a jumper on and I had a dress and high heels on and it wasn't like an overly sexy dress it wasn't overly like too dressed up it was just you know I had a black dress and black high heels on and um I then later heard from somebody that this woman had said that I was really full of myself and that um, I really loved myself and if you would know me as a person then you would know that I'm really not a full of myself person at all like quite the opposite but because you make an effort in how you look because you kind of take pride in how you look supposedly that makes you up yourself that makes you shallow that makes you love yourself and people feel the need to kind of knock you down a bit just you know just make sure that you know that you're not that fabulous get off your high horse kind of thing and it's really really ridiculous that people feel like that because I know that kind of feeling that you can sometimes feel slightly inadequate to somebody um, if you see someone who's, you know, really impeccably dressed and just looks amazing and you'll get that little twinge of, uh, I should make a bit more effort. But that's what it boils down to. I feel like I should make a bit more effort. I don't feel like I hate that person because they can make that effort because that's not, it's not fair. It's not fair on them. It's not fair on me. And it's just absolutely ridiculous to kind of blame someone for it. And, um... I was speaking to one of my best friends a while ago when we were speaking about this and she said to me that, you know, it is hard when we go out because you're always, you know, dressed nicely, you've always got perfect nails, you've always got perfect makeup and we look at you and we think, you know, you're always perfect and therefore you assume that you have a perfect everything when that's really not the case and people who are really close to you probably know that anyway but... I also think that it's kind of very easy to judge um, a book by its cover and if your cover is very glossy looking then people assume that that's what you are and people have a kind of bad perception of that if you take care of yourself it means that it's because you love yourself. Not realising that by taking care of yourself sometimes it's to hide insecurities. So for example, you know, like I wouldn't really ever go out without any makeup on. Um, I'd put makeup on not because I think I'm so beautiful with makeup but because I feel like I need it I wouldn't want to go out looking you know like I look without makeup because that's not a very pretty sight so people tend to kind of just assume that if you care about what you look like then you're really obsessed with your looks and that's a completely ridiculous fallacy really because I think that to some extent most people do care about their looks and whether or not you've got enough time or money or patience or even willingness to devote that to your looks then that is entirely up to the individual and I get you know a lot of um people who sort of say like you know oh you'll wait till you have children and you won't have time to do this to yourself and do that to yourself and things like that and you just kind of end up thinking you know maybe I won't or maybe I'll prioritize it because it'll make me feel nice who knows the point is it doesn't make any difference to you whether or not I make an effort to take care of what I look like and not taking care of what you look like doesn't make you a better person than somebody who does take care of what they look like it doesn't make any difference and it doesn't give you the right to judge somebody because they want to look nice everybody wants to look nice you know I don't believe that there's a person who doesn't want to look nice at some point or another and you know wants to look plain wants to feel drab nobody wants to feel like that it happens to everybody and everybody feels like that at some point but there's not really much you can do about that and I think we're kind of so in a way trained as women the lighting's just really changed hasn't it it's because this weather's just so horrible it's been like winter 
and then it got really warm and nice and now it's being horrible again so the sun's just completely gone in so that's why it looks a bit dark um but yeah none of us we, we've been trained as women to not take pride in your appearance because that makes you shallow not um not be not be overtly confident because that makes you up yourself when really being confident is a good thing but there is a line where there is overconfident and if somebody thinks that you're overconfident then that's that's something that you want to look into but just being confident isn't a bad thing but I think that a lot of people confuse being confident and being overconfident and overconfident isn't an attractive quality being quietly confident is a nice quality and you shouldn't feel like you have to apologize because you want to make yourself look nice there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to look nice wanting to make an effort you know, and you should never ever be ashamed of that and try and play down because you because you, you feel like somebody might say something. And, you know, like I said about people judging people like online, people that you don't even know, that's that kind of thing, I think, where people think, oh, you know, you're posing for a magazine. You must think that you're all that. When, you know, celebrities are just like everyone else and I'm sure they have crap days and um you know like in that video I made where we about real women have curves that pissed a lot of people off um I think a lot of people during that time um when I made that video thought that I was trying to say that you know celebrities weren't real people and things when actually it's the opposite celebrities are real people who have an even more immense amount of pressure to look good so if they are taking care of themselves, themselves, that's because it's their job. It's their job to look good and, you know, why why would they not want to look good? Everybody does and they're getting paid extra money to look fabulous. So they would do it, wouldn't they? I mean, who wouldn't? But I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to say is that we all judge a book by its cover and we think that if you look fabulous then we've got something to be jealous of and that's not to say that I've never been jealous of anyone because I obviously have, we all have, but it's not been in a way, well not for a very very long time anyways, that I have found quite sort of soul destroying and where you feel the need to bash someone else down to make you feel good and um yeah so I'm gonna leave you with those thoughts because I've rambled for almost 13 minutes now and um, I'm sure you're getting a little bit bored of me but I would love to know your thoughts on the subject and I will see you all soon bye bye